Hello, my name is Sergio Saavedra and I'm a Technical Marketing Manager here at GitLab. In this short video, I'm going to show you a new feature introduced in GitLab 13.3, which is Edit Feature Flag User Lists from the UI. Here's a sample project. It's called Demo FFUL. This is a public project that, uh, that you can access uh, and clone. Um, and it comes with its own instructions on how to set it up and run it if you want to clone it and replicate it in your own um, environment, GitLab environment. The, uh, the backend is uh, using a Kubernetes cluster that is running on G uh, GKE, and it has auto DevOps enabled. Uh, it also uses three environments. Uh, you will see that later. It uses a QA environment, a staging environment, and a production environment to be able to uh, also show you the different capabilities of feature flags. So feature flags is a way to control the audience that will be getting uh, new functionality that you're introducing uh, in, your, in your application. And um, so let's go to the feature flags console. So here's where you configure uh, feature flags. Um, the configure information is, uh, you know, you need the API URL and the instance ID of um, the Unleash capabilities. Uh, we're using Unleash, which is an open source project uh, to implement feature flags. You, uh, this is installed on GitLab and uh, it's a server and you need uh, the instance ID and the API URL um, to be able to uh, call it from your application. So th this information you need to include in your project variables. There's more information about how to set these up in the instructions uh, in the readme file. But here, for example, uh, you see uh, this is the unleash URL and the instance ID, which is, uh, these are the values that were shown in the previous uh, screen. You will also need a PIM file. Uh, you can follow the instructions again to, um, to go through the steps on how to get that. I've chosen to disable uh, call quality in this project uh, to, make it, uh, to make the pipeline uh, faster. And I will also uh, enable staging so that uh, you know, we, have, we can have that extra environment. Let's go back to the feature flags uh, dashboard. So the new capability introduced in GitLab 13.3 is the ability to create new lists of users. So here we're going to create a new list. We can call it uh, FF for feature flags, user list two. We create this new list and then we can add users. And here we add uh, user IDs or emails. In this case, let's add Pluto at uh, gmail.com. And then we can also add a magic at uh, cfl.com. There you go. So now we have these two users in this uh, user list. And now once we have this user list, uh, we can create a new feature flag to use this uh, user list. And we can call this FF uh, test two. And then we need to add the strategies to the feature flag. So for uh, QA, let's uh, do, uh, let's actually use our user list and here you, um, we select the number two that we just created. And then we can add another strategy as part of this feature flag. And for this one, we'll use staging. Oh, sorry about that. Staging. And for this strategy, we'll do it for all users. So let's just leave it like that. And then one more strategy for production. 
and for this one we can do a percent of users and we can do uh, 80 percent and then we create the feature flag good so now we have ff test 2 and to be able to uh, use it within your application um, we go to this go module and here this is what's actually this is how the feature flag is being uh, unleashed or used within your application so let's add let's actually um, edit it and um, we created a new feature flag called FF test 2 so what this is going to do is is going to uh, check that if this feature flag is on uh, for the specific users that we've um, we've designated they they will be the only ones seeing that new feature and if they are not part of that uh, feature flag then they will just see uh, hello world obviously this is this is simple functionality the the idea is here that you will have you know a lot of logic here that uh, is a is a modification to your application so let's just commit to master and this is going to fire up a new pipeline So in this case, we're using uh, Auto DevOps, and we've added a QA environment and, and also stage and job here. that will be deploying uh, a running application within QA. It will also deploy it to staging, and finally, we'll do a manual uh, deploy to production. And, um, and as part of the project, we, we have a client that will be running here it is from the terminal from my local laptop here that is going to it's basically a for loop and is going to uh, loop over the different environments so this one is going to be QA the next loop around is going to be for staging and the last one is going to be the production environment and for each of the environments, what it's going to do is going to uh, basically log in, uh, register and log in the user. And the users are here. So these are the list of users. Pluto magic, Pluto at gmail.com, magic at cfl.r.com, Mickey at disney.com, and Hulk at universal.com. And remember these first two were part of our feature flag. For the user li list that we created contain only these two usernames in there so and in one of our strategies we are targeting these two um, users only for the new feature so you'll see when uh, the script is executed that uh, for part of the um, the strategy if I'm cor if I remember correctly that we did was for QA so for QA we will see that only these two emails or users will get the new feature and these two will not they will get the old feature or, or the old application without any modification and um, and then it'll loop around again and it'll do the same thing for uh, staging and for staging uh, we define that all users will get the a new feature so every we should see that every one of these users Pluto magic Mickey and Hulk will get the feature the new feature and for production we uh, define that only 80% of the users should get the new feature and since it's four uh, and uh, you know each is 25% so we should see that three of these folks uh, three of these um, users will get the new feature and one will not very well now 
that the pipeline has completed. You can see that the application has been deployed to QA staging and I manually deployed it to production and everything is green. So now let's execute the, um, the client. Uh, but before we go there, let's go back to the feature flag. The feature flag we're about to execute is this FF test two. So let's execute the script and let's see for QA, according to the strategy, uh, only the users in list two should get uh, the new feature. So that should be Pluto and Magic. And indeed, uh, Pluto and Magic got the new feature and not uh, Mickey or Hulk. For staging, we had uh, we had a strategy that all users would get the new features and new feature, and they they, they all did here, all four of them. Now for production, we had defined that eighty percent should only get it, so eighty percent of four should be three individuals. So and Pluto, Magic, and uh, and Hulk got it, and not uh, Mickey. So we what we've seen in this video is we uh, were able to use the brand new feature uh, of user lists uh, and the ability to define them via the GitLab UI. In this case, we define a new um, user list called user list, FF user list two with two usernames in there, two emails. Uh, from this screen, you can manage the lists. Uh, you can edit them or delete them. We were also able to create a new feature flag that made use of that user list called uh, FF user list two. And we were able to apply that to a strategy for QA. Very good, so I hope uh, you enjoy this video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.